Hi guys, another video on these Kratax batteries, or at least on the one that I took apart. I'm going to see if I can actually get the circuit board out of the cap. As you can see, I've already started tearing away at it. It looks like it might actually be, I don't know, spot welded on the... There's a ring there. Oh, let's go close up. Yeah, there's a metal ring on the back of the circuit board. And I think the, what should we call it, shroud or whatever is, is spot welded onto it. But I'll see if I can just peel it away. Because what I'm going to try and do is wire it up externally and see if we can make use of it as a charger if I don't damage it too much taking it apart. All right, you don't actually need to watch me do this, so we'll come back in a minute and see if we can, well, see if I've succeeded. Oh, just after I stopped filming, I gave it a bit of a twist and it now looks like it's actually peeling off. Yeah, it looks like it's spot welded. You can see the little spots <laughs> where it was welded. Yeah, we've definitely gone past the point of trying to put it back together again. But we'll see if we can actually do anything useful with it. There we go. I think there's actually some writing around there. Let's go close up. Close, close up and see if we can read anything. No, nah, that's not writing. That's just the back of the circuit board, isn't that? So basically what we've got is that bit is the pos positive feed into it. And that is the negative feed. And then the positive out is obviously the center dome and the negative out is still gonna be there. So negative in and out there, positive out there, positive in there. So can I possibly solder some wires on there that aren't going to short, short out against each other and try and use it to charge something? I'll just put some JST leads on it. So what I use for my batteries. That looks like a 2R2. Little ones got anything on them? Oh, they have got writing. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a microscope, see if we can see what's written on the other chips. Right, uh, it's a bit noisy now. It's raining very hard outside. We'll just see if we go straight across the battery on its own. 
We've got four volts in it. So out of the battery, through the circuit board. So going in on the positive in, and we've got the negative ring. And then out on this lead from the center dome. So that should be converting it to one and a half volts, which is where we were the other day and nothing's coming out. Right, this looks a little bit confusing at first glance. That's the battery we're working on. That's the circuit board. With I've, I've got connectors all the way through. That is a dummy battery where the terminals are brought out onto there. And this is the original Kratax charger which at the moment uh, is flashing red. It was permanent red glow for a minute. Oh, actually, no, that's through the camera. When I look at it, it's permanent red glow. So that sort of seems to indicate it's... Oh, we've gone green. Let's have a look. Right, uh, disconnect the charger. Pull that out. So now let's see what we've got on here. Can we see that? Yeah. Still nothing. <laughs> okay. So we've been all the way around the houses. We've used the original charger with it all linked through to the original battery. If I go on the original battery, we've still got the four volts in there. If I go on the output, we got nothing. And if I go on the input from the battery, we got the 405. So we're not actually getting the one and a half volts coming through the circuit board and we've tried feeding five volts into it to see if that kick starts it and that didn't do it well we know that oh well it does look like that circuit board is dead <laughs> 